Okay, cool. So today we are going to be talking about mastering your mindset. It's so important for leaders. In fact, I would say it's the number one oftentimes missing ingredient that people have. Like the, the number one missing thing that leaders have on for, for a high performing team is their own mindset. That's what I've seen when I've noticed this, when I've worked with leaders. And so here's the deal. Um, first of all, mindset. There's two kinds of mindset. There's a fixed mindset, fixed mindset, and a growth mindset. Here, let's do this, I'm gonna underline, okay? Fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Now, that's interesting in itself. I mean, there is a book that was published in 2006 by a woman named Carol Dweck, who is a Stanford researcher, and she's worked for, I mean, this woman is just like the thought leader on mindset, okay? And one of my favorite quotes from her is, becoming is better than being. So think about that as you lead your team. See, so many times uh, leaders have gotten where they are because they had an individual contribution that was stellar. The individual contributor now got promoted to a leader. That's a different skill set. So that leader now has to work on developing and transforming and becoming the best leader they can be. Now, personally, I believe that we are on a path to mastery always. We're always learning. And that is one of the tips that we're gonna come back to later um, in my next live stream uh, about really how, how to stay in a growth mindset. So that's for Friday or Thursday. I think I'm going to do that one Thursday, but today we're going to, I'm just going to talk about the seven, seven different, um, oh, what should we call them? Let's call them the seven different, um, ways to know that you're either in a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Okay. So, um, well, what's the difference first of all, right? Okay. A fixed mindset here. Let me get this. A fixed mindset. You believe that intelligence is static. You believe that it is what it is, like you can't grow. You believe that, you know, we're kinda SOL. It's just gonna be the way it is. A growth mindset, person who embrace, a person or a leader who embraces a growth mindset believes that your intelligence can be developed, that there's more potential to be tapped into. There's brilliance to be brought forth, okay? So this is really, really important. Because when leaders, what, what I see happen a lot with the people who we work with in our Lead Well program is I think people understand how to kind of stay optimistic and stay positive when, hi Stacy, by the way. Um, I think people understand how to stay positive and optimistic when they're working on their own game. But now that you're a leader, like all the, when the clients come to our calls, one of the things I hear a lot is, oh my gosh, my team won't do what they said they were going to do. These people that I'm volunteering with aren't living up to what they said they would do. Or how am I going to get the, these people aren't doing it like I would. And so we sort of, you know, humans, we think about so much of our growth based on what happened for us. When really, when you be, step into the shoes of being a leader, it's different. So what I really want to talk to you guys about today is how does a leader move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset? And I will tell you, here's a secret. <laughs> um, you have to change your perspective probably a lot. I have to do this all the time. Uh, when, as I'm challenging myself to become better, remember, becoming versus being, I have to change my perspective. Uh, I just got off the phone with a client um, who just said, Jen, I kind of get stuck sometimes in my mindset and I think I need a new perspective. I need a new mindset. Well, that's okay. If you're looking out this window of your house and you see this scene, you might need to go, oh, look it, we actually have uh, an apple tree and it's right over there. I just didn't know it wasn't out this window. You sometimes have to shift your perspective to see something different. That's one of the best. Um, I love to have a physical connection to something like this, where we're gonna get stuck, okay? We're all gonna get stuck, we all have barriers. I do too, 
I have to have some time, like sometimes I have to say to a friend or a colleague or someone in a coaching group that I'm with, hey guys, I need you to kick me in the butt. I am stuck right now in this fixed mindset. And so you might have to move. So I want you to just think about, I'm staring out this window. I need to look out a new window because I am stuck. So here's how to know that you're stuck. Okay, let me use this one. If you are in a fixed mindset, you have a desire to want to look smart. Okay, typically, if you're, that's one way. It's it, a fixed mindset typically leads to wanting to look smart. Uh, where a growth mindset, okay, same thing, it leads to a desire to want to learn. So where is there a place in your leadership where you maybe are getting caught up wanting to look like you're the person who's got it all figured out or you're, you've got the right answer and instead you could flip to a growth mindset and say, well, let me learn more about that. Immediately, it's going to shift you to being more of a participative leader that might ask a couple more questions. You might listen longer. Let's keep going. So there's seven of these, okay? Next one. A person with a fixed mindset tends to avoid challenges. It's hard, I don't wanna do it, it's too hard. A person with a fixed mindset, can you guys read that word? Embraces, the embrace the challenges. So leader, where in your leadership could you embrace challenges? Where might you be avoiding a challenge? Number three. So let's go one, two, three. Number three, um, a, a leader who's got a fixed mindset um, gives up easily when they're faced with obstacles. It's not fun to admit this, but we want to give up, okay? A leader who's got a growth mindset, oh, I love this word. Do you see it? Persists in the face of setbacks. They persist. Okay, I want you to think about that right now. Where are you seeing an obstacle in your leadership? I'll give you a hint. It oftentimes has to do with human beings because humans are messy. I would say probably the biggest mistake I see leaders make is they take it on. They get tangled up in the weeds. When one of the people they're leading has a problem, we kind of get frantic too, instead of persist. You are going to have setbacks, leader. Will you persist in the face of setbacks? Yes, you will. How are you persisting? Those are some more things we could talk about. Okay, let's keep, keep looking, okay? I would say your mindset is your number one thing that is keeping you from having as high of performing team that you wanna have. It's the leader's mindset. Think about that. Okay, let's look at number four. Uh, a person, a leader, or a person with a fixed mindset sees effort as fruitless. Think about that. Has there been a time when somebody on your team maybe did something and you just didn't feel like even the effort was worth anything? Or yourself, how about yourself? How about when you're working on something and you're not willing to celebrate unless if you hit the home run? I get stuck in that a lot. I have to let go of it and say, no, I'm going to look at effort as a path to, my, one of my favorite words, mastery. As a path to mastery, okay? A person with a growth mindset embraces effort as a path to mastery. Okay, let's keep going. Number five. Um, this is one of my favorites. A growth, a, a leader with a fixed mindset ignores negative feedback. Boy, this is a big one. I feel like there are so many leaders who have blind spots and the more transparent you can get, the more you'll know your blind spots. It's not fun to have blind spots. Those are the days when suddenly somebody's quitting because, and you had no idea. Or, um, you know, the person that's working with you is sending messages and really needing help, but you're so distracted with your to-do list, you're not really hearing them. And then when they're really stuck, um, and they're asking for your help, but it might not be really clear, but you're not listening long enough to them. 
so you're missing the feedback and you're a lot of times you don't I mean many times we don't even realize we're here okay so a big part of this is about self-awareness um, which is a huge piece that we work on in our coaching program lead well our clients work on building their EQ and a part of your EQ emotional intelligence is your self-awareness noticing observing without judgment Am I here or am I here? Like that's really important too. It's not about judging yourself um, if you're in one of these spots. A person with a leader, let's just say this is all about the leader. So a leader with a growth mindset learns from criticism. Thank you for sharing that. Let me think about that. A lot of times we get into discussions in our Lead Well program with our clients um, who are working on transforming themselves to transform their team. We talk about how it's hard to hear something or if somebody's uh, maybe uh, doesn't want to work for you anymore, or wants to leave your team, um, doesn't like the way you did something. Um, now listen, there is a lot of times there's, you know, you need to be directive in leadership. And a lot of times you need to be participative. Most of the time I've seen that leaders struggle with the participative approach and they're really good with the directive. Actually, it's interesting. I think the more people realize, I, I, what I've seen, the more people get better at the participative approach to leadership, they realize they could get better at the directive. So that's a whole nother training video. So let's look at number six, okay? Uh, with a leader with a fixed mindset feels threatened. Threatened by the success of others. A leader with a growth mindset feels inspired and wants to learn from the success of others. They find lessons in them. Uh, lessons and inspired by the success of others, okay? And so I see this a lot inside of organizations or on teams. Um, you know... And there's great to have some competition inside of a team, but honestly, I have this t-shirt that we created inside of Lead Well called Let Your Freak Flag Fly. And I love that because at the end of the day, we want to know what you're about, leader. We want to know what you care about. We want to follow your passion. We want to follow your vision. And in order to do that, you've got to let your freak flag fly, okay? You just have to, you really have to. Like, what are you really about? What do you really care about? Um, I mean, it kind of gets into personal branding and being clear. But I would say the leader who's got a really strong sense of themselves is inspired by others. Okay, last but not least, number seven, um, a, per, a leader with a fixed mindset will plateau and probably achieve less than their full potential. Less than, less than their full potential. Where a leader with a growth mindset will be reaching, reaches higher achievement levels because they realize there's more potential. So they reach a higher level of achievement where this person is gonna probably end up at less than their potential. So are you a leader who might be at less than your potential? Are you leading yourself to less than your potential? Or are you really working on achieving better? And I mean, honest to God, that is the, this one right here. If you can just get a little bit better, 1% each day. If you can just get 1% better, that's it. It's not about like making Olympic leaps and bounds every day. A fixed mindset keeps you stuck. A growth mindset moves you, hey guys, hey Janelle, and Groos. Grush, grushba. Hi, how you doing? Um, that growth mindset just keeps you moving a little bit each day, guys, and that is really what you want to do. I think sometimes um, one of the biggest mistakes leaders make is that they want it. We all do, okay? But this, I, I specialize in working with leaders. We want things to go from zero to 60. We want to get there. Oh, gosh, I do too. But you know what? It's not like that. We got to give ourselves a little grace. We got to do just a little bit better. In fact, I'm going to be real transparent here. This live stream, I did one on the very same topic yesterday on Facebook. I tried using a, a new 
technology and it's it's it wasn't great it was like I'm gonna give myself a D minus it was decent content but I'm just telling you this one's probably gonna be way better and um it was bugging me and I'm gonna leave it up because it's a good lesson for me that um I can embrace my mistakes and it wasn't it wasn't like a home run I think this one's gonna be better and you know what boom I had another social media platform that I can try again so I want to get better a little bit better each day a little bit better each day so growth mindset versus a fixed mindset that is the number one thing that a leader can do to to really build your high performing team is embrace a growth mindset and think about where are you lacking a growth mindset and where can you embrace it this is an example of a little handout and a tool that the leaders in lead well get in our curriculum and I mean that's really what I do and specialize in is help leaders perform better because better leaders build better teams and if you're a leader who's leading a team when you get a new perspective you unleash organically like you just will unleash this ability to tap into new levels of perspective with your responsibilities with your team's productivity with your own work-life balance oh my gosh so many leaders just want to work on i mean a lot of times they really are like okay i want to um have a better you know functioning team and i want to be a better leader i want to make a better difference in this person's life but a lot of it comes down to their own work-life balance and getting some time back in their calendar so they can be more intentional and so we have a whole piece called intentional integration i am doing a private training for people who want to work with us on october 15th it's a thursday at 10 a.m and so um we have a whole a really cool program where you get courses and I really, I, I'm going to kind of just do this whole training called bottleneck to breakthrough, how to develop your team or how to lead your team to rockstar results, how to lead your team to rockstar results. And I unpack mindset and our whole framework deeper. So if you're interested in that, there's going to be a link that I'm going to add to this. So you just wanna click on that link because that tells you a little bit more about it. And there's a little form, like a little application. It's just two questions, it's so simple. You can fill that out and apply to come to the training. It's a private training and I really want people who are committed and serious and want to grow. And so we ask you a couple of questions about that. Um, I just want you to know that we, like in our, in our Lead Well program, we bake in helping you move from a fixed to a growth mindset and by bake it in I mean like it is a part of the ingredient that's just woven through there's a, a couple of things like that and mindset is one of them so it's just in there and we help you uh, work on that so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, leave a comment down below about mindset and something you learned from this I'd love to hear and um, I'll see you again on Thursday